What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to some more hidden LCQ footage. And today we got episode two of our road to the Madden Bowl. Last chance qualifier, matchup number two, single elimination on the PS5 side. And your support in the last video was, uh, we all seen it, man. We all seen it. Y'all went crazy on that last video. If you want more gameplays like this, more LCQ hidden footage, smash that like button. You know the deal. 100 more likes and I got you with that next episode but for episode two gameplay number two we are going to be playing yardstick 32 um if you've been watching me for a while now you know my first lcq run in madden 20 we actually got the chance to play yardstick to six seconds five seconds four seconds last play of the Stretch game run for sanders he needs to get to the end zone cuts inside he's taken go. down and td Poppins gonna go. walk away with a victory what a performance what a clutch late drive from the madden 19 club champion we end up winning that game, but man, it wasn't easy. Yardstick is one of those players who's pretty uh, elite on defense. You know, he has blitzes. He, he's going to want to blitz at you. He's going to want to send the dogs at you. And, um, you know, I could definitely tell what he was trying to do in this gameplay. Um, enough to chat in. I'll catch you guys in the gameplay. I'm about to break this gameplay down for y'all. See right here, guys. We are going to be starting off with the ball around the 20-ish yard line, 26 yard line. And you're going to see him going to be running this uh, four six one even whatever defense that is um however you say it uh, basically trying to get that pressure in all game um and right here you see he gets a little bit of pressure i throw it away i was just not comfortable i was not trying to you know make any bad reads in this game um you know round two you gotta you gotta stay on your toes you know you got a couple games left to go but you know you still got to play efficient and perfect you see right here my way of attacking this defense is running a lot of flood um, flood is really just it, it's easy reads any type of out routes to the sideline is going to be easy reads you see right there my controller battery is actually low but um you see right here another out route so the past three plays were consisted of two out routes and one flat route right here we low-key have that tight end and we make a beautiful play on it his user just was not there tight end post route in the goal line in the red zone thankfully it didn't run backwards um, for your boy because you know that could ha definitely happen in the red zone is your post run backwards I don't know why it happens, but it still does happen guys So, you know beware anytime you run a post in the red zone that that thing could definitely turn around see right here He's running the New England tour and right here. He um, you know, that's a great way to I wanted to start the game off You know, he would try to hit us with like a bomb as right here, we get Micah Parsons on the pressure, and it's a fourth down early. We're going to do a little bit of send two, and this is an absolute bag. Nothing was open on that play. Micah Parsons, definitely the best DN in the game. Um, just wrecks havoc right there. See right here, we are just trying to establish the run game early. This 4-6-1 defense really does kind of struggle versus the run, I'd like to say. See right here, R1 was open triangle was open and we just take a bad sack this i don't know like you know the timing of everything kind of threw me off um i really was looking for a scramble and you know he contained it really wasn't there and i missed a couple reads you know i had the wheel route open i had triangle open but it's all good it happens um you know as long as we get our three points our 10 put a 10 point lead you know we'll be all right i see right here easy out routes for him that tight end out route is definitely annoying to stop but you know you you could definitely lock in and adjust for it it just just one of those plays that you know you know it's not a crazy yardage play but you know you could go over and over to it again and again and see right here you know he, he throws it for like four yards and he gets a beautiful rack ends up getting 11 odd off of it so uh see right here he makes a flat route read um that's just a staple of trips is you have to be able to make that flat route read see right here he actually runs qb power and you know my gap shoot was all over that man and see right here great play Thankfully, he didn't score a touchdown on him because it could have definitely got sweaty. But, you know, he ends up making a nice read right there, basically splitting my cover three zone. See right here, we send the pressure, get there with Micah Parsons again. And, man, oh, man, I'm going to need that guy um, for the rest of the year because he is definitely the best DN in the game. And, you know, Yardstick definitely goes ahead and takes three, knowing he gets ball at half. Fourth and nine is a little tricky to get. I mean, I probably... I probably would have done the same, you know, I would have kicked three, especially in that scenario, fourth and nine from like the 10 to 12 yard line. Um, you see right here, I have R1 wide open and Jalen Hurts, quarterback number one, delivers a dot on the run. We ran that good old crosser solo side play with a hitch and a streak and he just had a busted blown coverage and we just took advantage of it. One play, 76 yard drive. 
and you know i really did want to go down but you know it's at the end of the day i'm fine with it yardstick isn't like the best most elite offensive player um you know not trying to knock on him or whatever so you know i'm like all right you know what let's just play a little defense here let's hold him to three if the worst comes to worst um seven would definitely hurt because you know he could easily get seven out of half again due to him getting the ball but you know you see right here he's running the ball and like like i don't know running the ball with this much time left was kind of questionable see right here he's gonna chuck this crosser we have a great click on with taylor mays and we just go ahead and snag that and you know at this point in time it's looking like it might be ggs he gets some nice pressure right there and you know i'm trying to think of a way to get like you know even three before half it's right here we overthrow that crosser and you know i'm starting to think you know what let's just maybe go into half i don't want to mess up but then out of nowhere calvin johnson just shows up unexpected um right here he sends some great pressure and i kind of messed up man i ran a bad play i had something open um but the thing was i have no timeouts and i kind of just i did definitely mess up right there hopefully in the future i could take advantage of that and look into you know what i got to do better on that first down with 19 seconds i probably should have called vertical sent my running back out and you know live with the consequences if i got sacked because odds were odds are i could have easily got a field goal throwing one of the wheel routes or throwing to the running back and you know just spiking that football but it is what it is you see right here he's already down to the 40 yard line we have to just continue playing great defense see right here wow that that definitely hurt me a little bit um i have my contain come in but escape artist man it's so good i use it you use it we all use it um i can't be too mad about that play because i did click on and my user wasn't in position to make the play against that wheel route so you know it is what it is great drive right there um we just right here this is a clock drive this is established you know the our lead you know emphasize our lead a little bit more and just play the clock you see right here flood is open again tight end out route i do wish i had double post in raiders playbook because that that tight end uh wheel route out of double post is insane but you know look at what i'm doing in this whole game i'm audibling around i'm running the ball that's just something i feel like you can't really do too much out of carolina um and see right here escape artist i told you man we unfortunately aren't able to get a touchdown off that because of it was an overthrow but nonetheless we still caught it Devin Hesher with a you know great catch put extending his body out for the boy and you see right there Fred Taylor gets into the end zone so just a great drive to establish some of the clock we took like about what three minutes right there off the clock and we are able to um, essentially just take it and make it a two possession lead not yeah two possession lead and you know right here we're going back to the same ordeal Sam playing a little bit of coverage defense get a coverage sack with who else oh I thought that was Micah Parsons I'm not gonna lie I, it could have been but I wasn't able to see and see right here he's going up top and thankfully for us he drops that um, that would have been a big play for him to have I uh, see right here you know he's kind of forcing some reads across his body but you know I'm fine with that tick 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 I see right here it goes under 20 seconds and he has this running back wheel route open but we shed like crazy shed like a snake shed like a dog whatever you want to say um demarcus where your ass was at shout out to clef for that one ends up getting the shed for us and see right here we actually got sacked on the first play but the thing was it was a three yard sack so if anything you could just call it a bad run see right here we kind of make an ill-advised read that guy did not have acrobat on him but you know that was not the best read and you know i wanted to go for it but there's just no point there man there's really just no point um all the pride is set aside in this game you just really your main goal is to make it to the madden bowl continue to win these games and the best chance of me winning was simply going to be just kicking three and making it a three possession game um fortunately we give up a big play and i feel like this is something i always do when i have a nice content lead i feel like i always like give it up somewhat like no not like you know fold or anything but you know let's just say i'm up like 14 with three minutes left or in this example i was up 17 with about four minutes left i feel like the first play um these guys is always getting like a big chunk of yardage i mean this right here at this point i'm, I'm completely fine with this, how this drive is going see right here escape artists up the gut it's a 10 point game but the thing is there's two minutes and 28 seconds left so you know it's it's inevitable people are going to score in this madden opponents are going to score it's really just how how you determine the clock and you know how you play the game because uh essentially this was a i guess you could call somewhat of a low scoring game for both of us you know we've been used to seeing so many um high scoring games see right here back backfield or back foot throw by jalen hurts is gonna ice the game the jordan fadeaway by jalen hurts qb number one 
JG's in the chat to yard stick. But yeah, man, we just took advantage of the game. We got a couple stops, and that's really all you need in this year's Madden if you're efficient on offense. Once more, GG's the yard stick. I'll be showing the game number three for LCQ, single elimination, PS5 bracket, as soon as this gameplay hits 100 likes. So keep up the great work. Thank you guys for the support. And you know I'm getting going to go get back on the in the lab grind and do what I got to do. So catch you guys in the next video. Take care of Pushing P. We signing out. Yeah,